Louvre Museum, Paris, France. Now, I um, have to put my hand to the side because of the reflection with the light, but this one is full of symbolism. I've never seen that before uh, because you can see that you have the, 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 the individual with his uh, arm crossed, which is one gesture which is common uh, from ancient Egypt. Uh, and around the head, you have the jade pillar, and it actually goes down all the way to the bottom. But uh, you have it towards the, the head, the face, and then you can see the eyes of the Ujat eyes, and then at the bottom you can see uh, different symbols such as the sun disk and the horns, and also uh, I, I believe there are feathers. Uh, then on the side you can see uh, uh, the birds. I'm not sure if they are vultures or, or, or falcons. And then uh, towards uh, there where you have the horns, you can actually see the snakes. And the snakes themselves, they do have the, the, the sign which is usually found on the head of uh, Hathor or Heteru. So you have the horns with the sun disk in the middle. And then towards the bottom you have, uh, uh, well, this is Aset, Isis, and Nef Neftis or Nephthet. Uh, they are carrying the Ankh. So this is full of symbolism, definitely. Uh, I never really noticed the artifact before, but there you have it.